Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at Minecraft plugin permissions. It is important to understand the concept of permissions if you want to offer something through Tabex. First of all, to understand how you can give exactly to a player what you want to give. The more you understand it, the better you can make sure that you can give things in a way that doesn't have any unintentional negative effects on the server. Plugperms is a permissions plugin for Minecraft servers, allowing server admins to control what features players can use by creating groups and assigning permissions. And I agree, it is indeed fast, reliable, easy to use, flexible, and it is very extensive. And you can use it for free. Even if your plan is to eventually grow into a network of servers, for example, using Bungie Cord, Velocity, Lilypad, something like that, you can still use Lockperms. We are not going that in-depth in this tutorial. We are mainly going to look at the basics of Lockperms, hopefully help you to understand the basics of how permissions work, and then show you how we can use that in combination with Tabex. Before we're going to download or install any plugins, I'm quickly going to dive into the web editor and then click on view demo. This demo simulates a server that is already set up with different groups and permissions to make it easier to get familiar with the Lockperms editor. Let's do a quick overview of the editor and then let's dive into the actual setup. Here on the left, we have three different things we can expand. On the left, we have tracks. You can use these to create like donation tiers or staff tiers. This is not something we will look at in this tutorial. We also have groups. So here are several different groups. The number you see on the right is the weight. And then we have the users. When clicking on a user, we can see its username, what group it's in, and also what permission they have. When clicking on a group, we can see the name of the group, the weight of the group. We can also see the parent groups and the permissions. These are all the permissions that are attached to the admin group. We can select them. We can select all. We can also change its value. We can set a expiry date, or if we want to, we can set this permission inside of a specific context. This is outside of the scope of this tutorial. We can also completely remove a permission. If we want to add a permission, we can go to the bottom. It says here, enter permission or paste many. You can either find this from the plugin documentation or whatever wiki or documentation you are using, or you can just search through the list or start typing if you know what the permission starts with. This demo has the essentials plugin installed so you can see all these essentials permissions that we could attach to this admin group. Let's see if we keep scrolling down, if we can see something else. Yep. Here we have some Lockperms permissions and also some in-game Minecraft permissions. If we wanted to add something, we can just select it or once again, type it down here. It will then be selected over here. Once we added the permission, we can set its value and optionally a expiry date, just as we did over here. And also again, set its context. I'm going to leave everything default. Then we can add it to the group by clicking the add button over here. And then the next step would be in the top right to actually push these changes to the server. If you want to add a group, we can click on the plus. Take a look at these numbers. The higher the weight, the more important the group is. For example, when setting a prefix, depending on your server configurations, you could only allow one prefix or tag in front of someone's name. If someone is in multiple groups, it would always show the group with the highest weight number. So let's create a new group. Let's just call this VIP plus plus because we are very original. We already have VIP plus. Let's set a weight, something between 40 and 70. Let's use 50 for now, something like this. But of course, this completely depends on how you want to set up your server and your groups. If you want to create a group, click the plus, fill in the information, and then you can start attaching permissions to that group. So let's actually do this on our own server. Let's go back to Lockperms and then let's download the plugin. We are using Spigot, so let's download the Spigot version. Let's add this download to our plugins folder. We can do slash TPS and this will show us the ticks per second. And this is like the heartbeat of the server. It's not super interesting, but it is something we can use as a demonstration. If you're not operator, you are not able to run this command. Let's make sure that somebody that is inside of the VIP group can actually run this command by giving them the correct permission. This permission could of course be anything from any plugin or any command you could run as a admin. Let's go to the VIP group. Let's go to the permissions and let's just type TPS. You can see we have the TPS command permission that is built into bucket. So let's click on this that added it to our list over here. Let's then actually add it to the group. And then lastly, 
let's apply those changes to the server. Now, anybody that is inside of the VIP group should be able to run that TPS command. For fun, let's give this a demonstration. First of all, I'm going to de-operate myself. This will make sure that my operator status will not bypass or overrule any of the permissions. Let's then add ourselves to the VIP group. So let's go to user. Let's click on ourselves and then under parent groups, let's add ourselves to the VIP group. And if I'm correct, once we now click apply, yep, it will ask us to run a command. Since I'm not operator inside of the game at the moment, I'm going to copy this, go back to my server console, and then I'm going to paste the command without the slash. I don't get a message in game since I'm not operator anymore, but we saw that we got a reply from the console. So now if I do slash TPS, it actually shows me the TPS of the server. So let's remove ourselves again, click apply. We will have to do the command again because we are not operator. Run the command to apply the changes. Let's try again, let's do TPS. And as you can see, it's already red. We are not allowed to do that. The plus button is great to add someone to a group. If we want to do the same thing through Tabex, we need to use a command. So we need to figure out what the command is to add a player to a group. We can use the wiki for this. If you want to have more information or create a more advanced command, take a look at the parent commands page on the wiki. But for now, let's go in game and see what command we need to use. We need to make ourselves admin again or operator. So I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to say lockperms user. Then we're going to say the username. So in this case, Tabex Academy. We want to set the parent. Then we have two options, add or set. With add, someone can has multiple groups. With set, we are just setting the parent group to whatever we select. This depends on how you want to configure your server. I'm going to say add for now. Then we're going to select what group you want to add the player to. As the basics to make it work, that's all we need to do. So I'm going to copy this command. And then when we run this, we can see this is a valid command and it actually tells us that we are now inside of the VIP group in the context of global because we didn't set a specific context. So this is the exact same command we are going to use on Tabex to add a player to the VIP group. I always recommend testing things in game to get the proper command and then change it to make it work inside of Tabex. So instead of add, we could also do remove. Again, just select what group we want to remove the player from and that's all. That's how we remove a player. Super simple commands. So let's go into Tabex and let's see how we can trigger these commands once a package has been claimed or purchased. So on Tabex, we are going to go to our packages. In my case, I already have a package. If you don't have one, you can add a new package in the top right. If you're completely new to Tabex, I would highly recommend taking a look at the documentation and take a look at some of the tutorials on our channel. I'm going to edit the VIP package. Scrolling to the bottom, we have server commands. We have our servers selected. I already have my server connected. Again, tutorial on our channel and also in the description. And then as the command, you can see lockperms, user, username, parent, set, VIP. Exactly like we did in game. This name thing in the curly brackets is a variable. This will automatically change to the username of whoever is logged in to your web store. So you could read this as lockperms, user, Tabax Academy, parent, set, VIP. If you want to remove the player automatically after 30 days, all you would have to do is add another command, set it to when the package is removed. Let's copy this command. And as we saw in game, all we have to do is change set to remove. And we need to actually configure when we want to remove this package. We can do this over here. When clicking on configure, it will automatically go to one month. If you want to, you can change this. But for me, this is exactly what I wanted. So now when the player purchases this package, they get automatically added to the VIP group. They automatically get all the permissions that are attached to that group. And after one month, they will automatically get removed from the group and they will lose the permissions that they had. The whole lockperm suite or permission system is really, really powerful, but I would still highly recommend it as a beginner because it's simple to use, but it can support you for a very long time. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, of course, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tebex store.